Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Battle Wagon, a task force game. I got this a few years back uh, when I bought a huge collection of task force games. Most of them were unpunched. I think this one's unpunched too. I haven't looked through it yet, but let's see what this is about. Queen of the Seas from the launching of the HMS Dreadnought. The first of all big gun battleships in 1906 until the dawning of the age of carriers in the Pacific in World War II, the battleships ruled the seas. Every major nation built huge fleets of battleships and battle cruisers. Even some South American countries determined that battleships were vital to their survival and bought British and American battleships to patrol their shores. The dreadnought capital ships, later called battle wagons by their crews, were used in every major war from 1914 when they first fired their guns in World War I until 1968 when the last battle wagons provided gunfire support off the coast of Vietnam. Battle wagon follows the history of the dreadnought capital ships from the HMS dreadnought to the USS Iowa. Every battleship or battle cruiser ever built or planned is included along with 13 scenarios for two or more players depicting the most famous battleship actions of World War I and World War II. A clean movement system allows players to maneuver large fleets and a realistic combat system uses ship displays to show combat damage and armor penetration. Battle Wagon captures all the excitement of naval combat in a fast and highly playable game. I think the U.S. also used, I don't know if it was a New Jersey or one of those battleships, they used to, I think, pummel Lebanon possibly and uh, it was also used in uh, Desert Storm and then it was retired. I'm not sure wh what the name of that ship was. If you know the name, uh, post it in the comments section. So this has 13 scenarios with order of battle alternatives, pl playing time 30 minutes to an hour, complexity moderate to advanced with optional rules and designed by Stephen G. Wilcox. Let's take a look in here. Got a player aid here, where I guess you keep. Tra I don't know if this is to keep track of uh, damage to your ship or what this is for. I haven't read the rules yet. Here's the counters. Let me see if I can zoom in on those. Yeah, they're very simple. It's also got some informational counters like mines, smoke, fog, etc. Then on this side, it's got torpedoes and land. Here's the map. This is the same map. Is this the same map they used in uh, Starfire 1, 2, and 3? It looks like it. A and B. It's got the different sections and stuff. And the 1 through 6 down here. And A through F. Let me get a copy of that other game and see if this is yeah I grabbed the Starfire map it's exactly the same so they used the same map in Starfire 1 Starfire 2 and then battle wagons I was complaining in Starfire that it didn't look like an outer space map well I guess that's because they used a Navy combat map all right let's look at the rule book see how many pages we have here 34 pages, and the last few pages have charts and stuff on them. So the last six, seven, eight, last 11 pages have charts and scenarios. All right, it starts with how to read the unit counters. And it's talking about destroyers, and here's sequence of play. Here's the abbreviated sequence of play. Speed determination phase, action phase, which is an impulse procedure, movement determination segment, movement segment, fire segment, damage assessment segment, torpedo launch phase, and record keeping phase. And here it goes into uh, details about movement. Turning mode for dis the different types of ships. And now it's talking about side slips. And here's the movement procedure. And here it goes over stacking. You could have four ship counters in each hex. And ex combat and explanation of fire arcs. 
All right, damage allocation, critical hits. All right, this is just more about combat and turrets and stuff. All right, now it's going into smoke and nighttime combat, fog, searchlights, mines. Got quite a bit for it, a little micro game. Merchant ships and destroyers. And here's the listing of every battleship ever made, or Dreadnought and so forth. Pretty impressive, and it's got stats for them. Explanation of ship factor sh chart. Now it's going into ship classes. And here's the scenarios. Here's the Falklands one, the World War One one. Dodger Bank, battle cruisers at Jutland. Jervis Bay. Stop the Bismarck. Got to have a Bismarck one. Sink the Bismarck. Battle of the North Sea. That one's hypothetical. Pacific Scenarios Plan Orange, which is hypothetical. First Guadalcanal. Second Guadalcanal. Battle of Surigao Straits. Interesting. And here's our gun range and penetration chart. Number of hits table. Damage allocation table, critical hit table, torpedo range table, torpedo damage table, modifications to torpedo damage table, so that's modifiers for that. And here's the credits. So it looks like it's got quite a bit in it for a little micro game. So I guess I was proved right when I was complaining that the Starfire chart looked like a naval map. Well, the reason is, is because it is. So anyhow, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.